Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to share something quick with you guys. This is a new Can-Am Riker accessory I just got with my recent order from Ironside Customs. My homegirl Lori hooked it up. It's a replacement shifter knob for your jockey shifter for your Can-Am Riker. You can see this one styled like a custom smiley face. Ironside makes all kinds, but we're going to use Jen's Riker to show it off. Throw mouse moto. Yeah, check this out. Ironside Customs sent me something. Uh, I think it's pretty sweet. Uh, they printed this out recently. It's uh, It's got like two different tones. You can see it obviously it's a smiley face, but it's got like black print inside and on this yellow print to make this round smiley face. And you're like, okay, yeah, I get that, but what is it? And it's a replacement knob with some style to it for your jockey shifter on your can and breaker and that's what we're going to show i'm pretty sure you're just going to be able to screw this off they just like this one here has the threading already inside of it this is all something provided by ironside customs when purchased something uh i don't know i don't know if this is actually a custom order or you know you just say you want the smiley face one i know ironside customs uh makes a few different versions of jockey shifter knob for the riker this is one that I got sent because I thought it was pretty cool and I was I was really interested in how it came out and how these prints come out in these two different tones and I think it's pretty quality uh, especially already having this threading inside of it so we'll test it out we'll get this one off uh, which is the stock just regular black round uh, shifter knob on the jockey shifter we'll get it off and get this one installed and then check it out and then we have Jen uh, with this here from Richard Riker Garage. You've seen her in other videos, I'm sure. This is hers, and we'll see what she thinks about it, because I know she wants to get something uh, pretty soon uh, that matches her Riker here. And we got this whole sugar, sugar skull theme going on, so it'd be kind of cool to get something like that, like a, like a skull going on. Oh, and then also, oh, there's like a Guardian Bell skull. What? I didn't even notice that this whole time, dude. But yeah, that's something like that fit the theme. This is gonna give her an idea if that was something she'd want to do. So let's check it out. I had to set the camera down and give it the old one, two, three with both hands. And we'll check it out what kind of rust we're working with out here. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, it's not bad. Everything's clear on the inside, but it was just right here at the base. Some of that uh, that spray would have knocked out. Even WD-40 would have knocked that up loosen it up some you don't have to do cr too crazy with some rust but i mean it, it's, it's real similar to what we saw in the iron side custom version but it's just like a little black shifter knob that's in comparison there so there's other models and there's other ways to get custom with it but this one in particular is going to be the smiley face knob by them is going to be a uh, pretty good size compared to it looks like a little bit bigger but i think it's uh i think it's a lot bigger which could be cool something you're looking for so with how easy it just screws on after taking that one off, give it the old spin room, let it catch those threads so we don't cross them. So it's real easy on it at first to make sure it hits those threads. And we are good. That's a good tight spot. You may be able just to keep spinning it because that's going to spin inside of it which is pretty cool because it's gonna give you a way that you can direct this how you want. And that's gonna be kind of straight on. You could probably spin it some more in another spot that'll loosen it and get it because that's still tight. Let's stop it right there. So we'll do it like that. And then it's tight on there. Yeah! So let's see. Let's set this knob. Nice. <laughs> Have a nice day, right? It's actually kind of cool being this size because it is bigger, but you can see it's kind of got a footballish type of a shape going on to grab it. So depending on how you want to see it, it's like most things, like even what like tattoos, <laughs> you kind of got to decide on what direction they're gonna go and who they're directed for. It's a message to you or everyone else. If you did something like a skull gen, what would you like? Face it 
toward you to face it out this way, face it forward. Like face it out like that. So you'd be pulling looking at the back of the skull and then pull it forward. Taki shifters are pretty cool already. And then anytime you're able to add some style to the Riker, Riker is always cool. The Taki shifter just does that, period. And now being able to put custom shift knobs on them makes it pretty sweet too. Nice. Check out Einstein Customs. They make all kinds of other stuff. This one in particular, like I said, this is the one that I got sent and it's the one I had the most interest in, but I've seen some really cool stuff. I know that Ironside made King Joffy Joe's shifter, which is that cool white ball with the gold crown, which is just insane. So I don't even know if Ironside Custom has limits on what type of uh, shift knob they can make. So check them out. I got the link into everything in this video description. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Thrill Mouse Moto. I was paid to say this since Barry said he felt kind of weird asking. He also wanted me to say Baja Blast Slams and yeah dog, Thrill Mouse Moto.